Howdy y'all, how you doing? It's Gus here and I'm going to show you today how to avoid the machine gun effect when you have drum samples that are playing rapidly in your tracks. Okay, so the basic idea is to get a bunch of recordings or samples of the same instrument recorded several times, uh, hopefully in several different ways. So I set up my snare drum, put my microphone on it, and you can see I've got my recorded audio of that microphone just playing a bunch of hits on it. Um, I got eight in one fashion and then eight in a different fashion. This one had my wallet on the drum. This one did not have my wallet on the drum. So I've got a couple different versions to work with here. Right click on your sample and you're going to want to select convert drums to new MIDI track. That's going to give you a track where each sample is its own, um, its own note. Double click on that instrument and it is going to pull up for you. Let me collapse these, get them out of the way. It is going to pull up for you a drum rack with all of your slices opened up here. Make sure that you have them sliced based on transient because that will help. A couple of things you need to do first. Uh, one, it's always helpful to name them. So the ones that had my wallet setting on, I just named them wallet and then numbered them. The ones that had my wallet off, I just named them open and then numbered them. You're going to go, want to go into each and make sure that they're all set to one shot so that the sample finishes playing um, even when you play the next note. Um, otherwise, you're still going to end up with the machine gun effect because it's just going to keep going back to the start, and that's what causes the machine gun effect. So make sure they're all set to one shot. Um, make sure you crop them, and if you need to, you can also normalize them so that they're all a consistent volume as well. So for those who don't know what the machine gun effect, let me give you an idea. I made myself a MIDI clip here with one of my instrument lines, one of my uh, samples here um, being selected as 16th notes. So when I play it, it sounds like this. So that might not be too bad, but the faster you get, tell like that is total machine gun effect right there. So let me speed that sound back up again or lengthen it. So the way to avoid this, go into your MIDI effects and you're going to need to grab two things. First, you're going to need to grab a random. Set your chance to 100% so that it's always on. And then set your choices to the number of samples that you took. So in this case, I took eight samples with my wallet and eight without my wallet. So I have eight and eight. I'm going to set my chances to eight or my choices to eight rather. Keep your scale at one so that it advances by one semitone each time. Set your mode to alt for right now. And what that's going to do rather than randomly selecting these, it is just going to go from one straight to the next kind of in a line one through eight and then back to one, one through eight, set that to alt, set your sign to add. And now every time you either play that note on your drum pad or every time you play it in your MIDI clip, it is going to cycle to the next note. So without it, you have this where it's all the same sample being re-triggered every time. When I turn that random on now, you can see it's cycling through all of them. So it's cycling through every single sample. If you took several versions, let me go ahead and pause that. If I took several versions, so I had mine with a wallet and then without a wallet, this pitch, if you add however many samples you need to skip, so in this case, I need to skip eight. So I'm going to add uh, eight semitones. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, that is going to bypass these first eight and instead cycle me through my top eight. So you can hear it's a slightly different sample. So without, you see it cycles through my bottom. With, it cycles through my top ones. Okay. Next level. If you want to randomize the order that they get selected to avoid um, uh, unwanted audio patterns. So like if I start going too fast with my notes here, you can hear it kind of whirs a little bit like a, a car engine. And that's just because it's looping through my samples in a consistent order. 
and that order makes a pattern for us that um, our ears latch on to. So how can we avoid that by randomizing? Now, for some reason, when you randomize, you have to lower your pitch by one semitone, whether you're using the upper or lower spots. So I'm gonna start by showing you the upper spots. I needed to skip eight, so I had it set to eight. Since I changed this to random, I have to lower it by a semitone. Otherwise, what I discovered that it does is it skips the first option and it adds a ninth option. And I'm not sure why that is, but if somebody out there figures it out, please comment so that I know what the heck's going on. So anyway, just drop it by a semitone. In this case, that'll make it uh, up to seven. So now I will be cycling through all eight of these options in a random order. So you can see that they're all randomly being selected. It just helps to avoid a pattern. So here's without the random, or without the pitch. No, sorry, without the random. You hear that cycling, that with the random. If I want to do this on the lower version, I need to set my pitch back to zero and then lower it by one semitone. So now it will randomly cycle through my bottom eight. So you can hear this is without the randomizing and without the pitch. This is with the random, or in this case, the step cycling. This is with the random cycle. So it's a really cool effect, um, especially if you're doing like cinematic music and you've got drums that are doing really fast, you know, you know, you're going to get machine gunning effect because um, it's the same sample um, and it won't ever have a chance to finish before you start the next one. So super, super, super helpful. But uh, I think that's all I got. So if that was helpful, leave me a like. Um, or if you have questions, leave me a comment. Until next time, stay out of trouble. How do I stop this recording?